I'm Keith Dorrington. I'm the main medical tutor here at University College. I also work as a lecturer and I give anaesthetics in the hospital. I'm going to talk to you about the book The Curious Life of Robert Hooke, written by Lisa Jardine. I've read it twice and I learnt a lot from it. Hooke came from a very lowly background and yet the contributions Robert Hooke made to science were in a very wide area of things. Physics, the design of better watches, better horse-drawn carriages, identifying comets. He played a major role in the rebuilding of a large part of London after the Great Fire in 1666. If you see it in its historical context, it can make science more interesting and it can make it easier to understand. Lisa Jardine's hook turned out not to be the right man. It is somebody called von Helmont. The author thought she had found a portrait. This particular missing portrait is a mystery because it is thought that one hung in the Royal Society in London. Hook and Newton had a row and Newton outlived Hook. Newton might actually have put it in a cupboard so that it might be somewhere in the world to be found. Each module has a syllabus with a list of things you have to learn for some ghastly examination you have to do. We want to get away from that. We want to have people reading about things because they're interested in a subject. Somebody who reads around their subject is going to turn out to be a better doctor in the long run. It's your choice about what you read and it's your way of exploring and discovering the world for yourself. people who are engaged in a subject that they want to study and we look for evidence for that in their application. Personal statement, that's one thing they can show it in. The report from their school, probably mainly the interview, where we can see whether they really do want to come to university to study the subject and whether they're already a little bit informed about it. We're looking for problem-solving ability or an ability to communicate for people who are going to make a scientific contribution to medicine. Here on the site of University College Hook was probably present when the first intravenous anaesthetic was given to a dog in 1656. The course does provide them some freedom to choose what they want to read about as well as requiring them to cover a certain amount of basic material because they're going on to be doctors and they need to know a bit about every part of the body as it were. The emphasis is on science and we have a tutorial system taught in tutorial pairs. The tutorial is an opportunity to be very interactive we encourage people to talk to us. Spending time with individuals, getting to know them, is a way of helping them understand the subject better. If they come to study here at a college like this, then they're part of a small community mixed in with students studying a lot of different subjects. <laughs>